Hello, everyone. Good afternoon and evening to those of wherever time zone you're in. It's Tim Wednesday. Welcome to Tim Wednesday. September 10th, 2024. Day 254. A vanguard of the Weeb Nation. And yes, I double checked. I'm starting to feel much better. I still have a little bit of sinus congestion. Just a little bit, though. It's not too bad right now. In fact, it's mostly just... Excuse me. Getting the rest of it just out. More or less, I can breathe. Oh, you Well enough about that. But with the headset on, it does add extra pressure on my sinus right now. So I will keep this one a little bit brief. Plus, I have to go over to a store and find something quick for dinner tonight. Because, uh, things ran a little bit late, so I can't go to a normal grocery store, which is further away, to get where I wanted to cook tonight. So, I guess we'll just have to settle with pizza. We're all kind of pizza out, though. That's, that's the problem. We're, we're, um, we're at our pizza limit. But, what can you do? Uh, Buttercup just got home from school not long ago. She's late, but that's because she went to the store, to a different store with her grandparents to get some shoes, and decided to play with the dogs over at the grandparents' house for a little bit. That's, that's from what I know. I, I, sweet pea just did sweet pea things, really. You know, the whole getting into everything, making a gigantic mess. And somehow she didn't get into everything on our, on our desk. We, we got lucky with that today. But we can, we can only assume that's going to hold up for, you know, so much longer. We did get the rest of what we needed in the mail. So all I need to do, all I need to do is get them gift wrapped for, for the kids. I have to kind of keep that one off on. If you know what I mean, because they don't get to have those until Friday. Because Buttercup's birthday is on Friday, and Sweet Bee's birthday is on this coming Saturday. I know, it's coming up so fast. They grow, they, they grow up so quick, don't they? I mean, Buttercup's gonna be ten, and Sweet Bee's gonna be three. And honestly, it feels like it was just... Just last year, the Sweet Pea was born, but no, no, that was, that was, that was three years ago. Oh, man. <sighs> that time, uh, sometimes it really does feel like that time just slips away from you. Oh, I, I, I'm making sure we make the best of it from now on. Because we're trying to make much better decisions with our daily lives. It, I I... I I did keep seeing something going on and off, and I don't know why. What is that? Uh, I don't know. But I'm keeping this more short, because there isn't a whole lot to talk about right now. Still trying to deal with the rest of the sinus pressure, and like I said, with the headset just, you know, pressing on my face right now, it does add to the pressure I'm experiencing on my face, which is, you know, just some discomfort. Like I said, it's not too bad. Oh, but it feels a lot better with the headset not on. But I figured it was by the time to get some VR chat in because uh, we we kind of been waiting for it. But we were, you know, I, I I spent some extra time just you know looking for a world to go into because. I, I, I like to check out the new and noteworthy. There are a lot of new and noteworthy worlds right now where all of your creators are pretty much turned off. And I was like, yeah, I can't go there. It did not look good. So I, I went around looking and I found this world, which uh, I'll turn the camera off. That's not my camera. Um, here we go. So there's a lot of stuff, but the world is called Otaku Girl Room by Dizzy Sky in C Room. Yep. <laughs> ah, yes, of, of course. 
I was in the outside area with a working vending machine. Ooh, I haven't gone out there yet. And a ma the magic pad tablet, multiple pickups, uh, night mode, toggle, post processing menu, and working alarm clock for sleeping. No, please do not sleep in worlds. But it said there's an outside area. How did he get to the outside area? Um. You just Okay. So there is a vending machine. Okay. You know what? Uh, do you have any carbonated tea? Let's see. Lemon tea. Ocha. Monster. Ooh. Love soda. Let's see. Fruit tea. Lemon tea. Milk tea. You know what? Please some milk tea. Oh my goodness, you can open it. That's awesome. Did you actually throw it away? You do, that's... Uh-oh, did I put it in the... I put it in the wrong one. I, um... I may have put the can in the wrong hole. That's my fault. But yeah, it works. I'm going to try. Well, we got more milk tea right here. Let me go to that is fruit tea for 130 yen. That is really, that is, how come their drinks are so much less expensive than ours in the US? Wait, 210 yen for a 16 ounce monster energy? Also, wait, it's $2.50 now. And if you think about adding inflation in, that's worth the two dollars for a can of Monster when it's two fifty in the United States. That's not fair. But less than a buck sixty for some fruit tea, or a less than a dollar thirty, so one hundred thirty yen for some fruit tea. But yeah, there's an alley here. Is that another vending machine? Oh, it's not a real vending machine. Okay, I got my hopes up over here. And... Zoom. Oh, those are the... I don't know. I'm around. It's so blurry, I can't read it. Unfortunately. The telephone area. Another one of those... Oh, vending machines. This is not the one we went into. But we didn't do our first deep. I mean, this one goes in the bottle one, not the pan. Oh uh, yeah, this otaku girl room place is pretty cool, and I do like the skyline. Even though it's not like what I'd call a realistic skyline, I do like its glow. But that's because I like that effect. Really does make me want some fruit tea. They make it with. It looks like I'm making with grapes, apples, peach, and is that a lime? And some lime, yeah. I could really go for some real of this stuff. That machine is pretty cool. Yeah. Well, that's a can of cola. Oh well. And who? Apparently, you spawn against the curtains. Let's see. <laughs> yep. But that's that's Otaku Girl Room. It's pretty nifty. I I don't like it. And you can definitely tell it's definitely boring. It's definitely a, a, a world for females. I do. I definitely. I grew up knowing a lot of people who love shipping. Spike and... what was his name? It wasn't Vincent. I can't remember his name. But they, they, that ship was huge when I was in high school. So... 2002 through 2000... or no, 2002 through 2006. That was a really, really popular ship over there. That was, that was a really popular one. But anyway, I can't really keep it much longer. We had our exploring in. It's been... Fun. 
I'm glad, I'm very glad I was able to go back into VR chat because I do, I admit, I do feel at home here. But I think keep it much longer, because at the time of recording, it's 5.44 p.m. It's better than what Tara did yesterday. But it's still, I have to get over the store soon to get food. And it, it does sound like we're just going to do a pizza tonight. But I do have green Tabasco. Have you, have you ever had green Tabasco on a pepperoni pizza? Oh, oh, it is really good. I can't even call it a guilty pleasure, because green Tabasco is a good, simple hot sauce. But that, but that though, itself, in general, is just really bad to cost off. But I would argue that a bath, though, has a higher versatility than a lot of the other hot sauces you can buy on the market. So that's why I keep Tabasco on hand. It goes in a large variety of things. It goes on pizza, it goes on eggs, it goes... I ain't even had it in salad. It's... It's that versatile. But a lot of other hot sauces are very, um... They only go well in certain things. Like, uh, Taco Bell's Diablo hot sauce, or their Diablo sauce, is not good on their beef tacos, but it's good on their chicken tacos. It doesn't do well, it doesn't really taste that well with other things other than, uh, you know, chicken based Mexican food or Tex Mex, you know what I mean? So, that's why I think Tabasco, because like I said, it has a higher versatility. But anyway, I'm not going to keep it. I don't need to rant about anything else. I do need to get us to the store, and these trackers are dying quickly because I had to put all of the charger powers up because Sweet P decided to start getting into all of them and broke three of them. So I had to get three more, and hopefully those don't get broken too. But anyway, this is Tessa Spade on your Tuesday. September 10th, 2024, day 254, and we will see you all tomorrow on hump day. So long, everyone.